In today's video, I'm going to show you how we went from this to this. This tiny coat closet is the only barrier we have between the living room and all of our dirty, sweaty, messy gear. Let's get to work. Our little coat closet is 30 inches deep and about 32 inches wide. Originally it had a simple coat rack plus an upper shelf and I had placed this small shoe rack on the floor. This is not working out for us, so I wanted to put a plan together. And when I made this plan, I knew right away that the layout needed to be flipped. I decided the coat rack would need to be moved down to the bottom half of the closet instead. This allows for more shelving and convenience for grabbing gear on the go. His and her totes will go on the first shelf with shoes piled on the second shelf. Then let's just throw some miscellaneous closet things like gloves and hats on the top shelf. I'm not letting any inch of space in this tiny closet go to waste and that includes the space on the door. A customizable and adaptive storage rack is the key to this closet overhaul. We'll get various hooks to place on the rack for storing helmets, camelbacks, and other accessories. Now that we've got our plan, I just need to grab a few measurements and we're all set to load up and go pick up some supplies. For this project, we decided to use real boards, which I then painted white. If you're looking to save some time and money, buying some prefab shelves would work just as well. The first shelf would need to be a bit larger to house those totes that I was talking about at about 22 inches deep, and the other two shelves would be 15 inches deep. I'm just gonna make sure that fits. In the closet? Yeah. Okay. For support, we would cut down a couple one by twos for mounting the shelves on. For the storage rack on the door, we chose to use tap mount wall hanging setup with hooks and pegs galore. We already had our own storage totes, but I thought I would include those in the price list here for those who may plan to buy them. The total price for this project was roughly $100, but you could easily do way more or less for your own project depending on your own needs. After Brandon cut the shelves and supports for me, I got busy painting while he got busy building the storage rack for the door. As with any DIY project, there's bound to be at least one challenge. The tap mount hang rail we bought is really meant for a larger space like the wall of a garage, but we definitely do not have a whole wall that we're working with here. So to make the rail slender enough to fit the width of the door, Brandon cut it into three 16 inch pieces. A chop saw would make this much easier. See how we did. Then he cut the ends of each of these pieces so that they would mount on top of the two vertical wall standards. We have the right size things. This is how this eventually works. What do you think? I think it's gonna work good. Back inside, it's out with the old and in with the new. Brandon removed the original shelf and coat rack and then started mounting the new shelves. He's using his nail gun here, but a regular hammer and nails or screws would work fine too. Though it's not as hard as finding a needle in a haystack, finding an actual piece of hard wood in a dirt cheap door is surprisingly difficult. We plan on using some drywall screws for mounting, which are rated up to 40 pounds, but finding a true piece of wood to screw into would be best. After a few attempts of drilling for gold, Brandon finally plotted and placed the holes for the anchors. Then he mounted the vertical wall standards and screwed the three rails in place on top. With the hardware in place, it's time to throw some hooks up and start bringing it all together. These undershelf hangers are super easy to latch on and will work well for hanging helmets and bags on. 
Then we can put these smaller pegs on the side anywhere for hanging hats or jackets or whatever we want. There's a lot of other kinds of hooks you could buy too. Alright, that's enough of this empty closet. The coats now fit neatly on the relocated coat rack. We have two his and hers totes for gear like knee pads, gloves, and thermal wear. Each tote fits perfectly side by side. They can be pulled out separately, all the way, halfway, anytime we want. Shoes go in next, and then I had a couple smaller totes for gloves and scarves that I put up above. For the door rack, I prefer to hang our helmets and bags, plus a few other things like an umbrella or a hat to have handy. What I love most about this though is just how customizable it is. I could easily fit four helmets on this rack if I wanted to. Or after a rainy ride, I could hang up the shoes and a jacket to dry. Rather hang the gear instead. Yep, all of that works too. Overall, I am extremely happy with our new tiny gear closet. Finally, we can rest easy without forfeiting our living space. Yes, I can shut all of that gear and stinky shoes away out of sight and out of mind. At least temporarily. You know I'll be back on the trail in no time.